What it is, guys, it is your old boy Pilk, and I am coming at you with another Dokkan Battle video. Um, today we are st uh, still talking about, obviously, Dokkan Battle and the current state of things and what you should be doing with Dokkan Battle. Um, first of all, just a little plug, uh, of course, Anime Week in Atlanta is coming up at the end of next week. Uh, I will be there. I won't be doing Dokkan Battle stuff, uh, though I will be taking some time to go to, you know, some of those things. Um, primarily, uh, my focus at AAWA is AMVs. Uh, I haven't officially announced my, my move yet, but we are... I am transitioning to do a higher role there. So, do stop by the video art track if you're coming to that convention. Say hey, I'd love to meet you in person. Um, you know, whatever else, but... Uh, I'm working on it right now. I may, I've, I may be running a Dokkan Battle panel at Momocon next spring. So, uh, love to see you guys there. Um, all that kind of stuff. But there, will, obviously, that's still like, you know, half a year away. So we'll get, we'll talk about that when it gets closer. Uh, for now, let's talk about what's currently happening in Dokkan Battle. Um, I've already talked ad nauseum about the events. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look real quick at what's running. Um, you have your regular Dokkan modes currently running, uh, you know, the weeklies. So, obviously, you know, you should just be upgrading your characters, getting all your URs. Uh, right now, the big thing, though, isn't necessarily that. I mean, unless... Like, I just did the androids. If you're doing the android grind, more power to you. It's, uh, I would personally probably wait until another stamina sale comes on. But... That's me. Um, I just like to get you know, my best bang for my buck, especially with a grind that massive. So, right now, though, these story modes, uh, there's a lot to go on, especially the Hero's Legacy. If you have not farmed up your Goku Juniors, farm them both up. You should have one base level uh, UR that is uh, fully awakened, 100%, all that good stuff. Not fully awakened, but 100% and all that good stuff. You should have the second one fully awakened, Super Saiyan uh, TUR, with 100%. You could do it, it's super easy, it's running out like at the end of the week, so, or is it next week? Uh, what is the date? I think 24th or 29th? I think it's 29th more I think about it. 27th. Split the difference. Um, I do know that the Saiyan Warrior race is running out at the end of the week on the 24th on Sunday, so jump on that one too. You do not want to miss these, uh, these events. Um, this is the one, I don't know if this is coming back around anytime soon. But this is the one, if you have the Ozarus, that, uh, the, the Vegeta, and I believe it was, uh, well, not Nappa, but uh, Vegeta and Raditz. And Raditz is actually a pretty good character. I really do like my Raditz card. I appreciate that one a lot. So, this is this one you want to farm the crap out of if you have those cards or if you land those cards. And they're fairly easy ones to land. Um, really fun cards to use because the Ozaru form doesn't take any damage during the transformation. And you can run a full Ozaru team now with all the numbers out there and they're really easy to pull they don't do a huge amount of damage but they do they are fun to use um especially if you're really early in the game so right now the story modes are kind of where you need to be and need to be uh utilizing now let's talk about the real hype though uh, obviously right now the stone sale is on i have utilized some of it uh, i have not bought my uh 91 levels and i'm gonna try to before the end but again i've got <laughs> I've got a big expense coming up for this convention, so I don't. I, I'm going to have to see how that works out first before I do that. Um, now, let's talk about the summons first of all. Now, obviously, Super Android 17 has been around for a while, um, and I told you guys like you know it's a it's a fun one. It's it's a really high banner, um, and he is one of the 120 leads. But real talk, uh, I wouldn't do more than maybe like a single every once in a while. Um, if you're doing the daily uh, stones like I am, the daily three, I do a, a single every other day on him. Um, uh, in fact, what kind of infuriates me is I got, this morning, uh, I did get my, uh, finally get an SSR. Um, first one in a long, long, long time. Uh, I've just had crap luck with it lately. Um, but, I did get a bye guys, and then I got a non-banner SSR. So I was like, eh. this banner has not been nice to me at all. In fact, I can't even get all of him. That's how infuriating it's been. So I would say don't do, don't go ham on this banner. I mean, it's a fantastic banner, tons of great cards. 
I just can't recommend going ham, because even Super Android 17 himself, he's only kind of an okay character. Because, as I said in a previous video, if you want to do maximum damage with him, you have to already be attacked. And he needs to take hits to, to retaliate with damage. His damage percentage, like you have, you know, so many other characters that have a base damage percentage increase, his base damage percentage increase, or his damage percentage increase, only goes up for every time he's attacked. So, yes, he does immense damage, but if you don't want to do, you know, 200k damage, you really kind of got to either use him as another card with a lead, which kind of defeats the purpose of the 120 leads, or you have to uh, let him get attacked, and so at that point, like, you wouldn't be putting your your orbs and whatever into criticals, you'd be putting it into, uh, be putting into evasion and defense. So it's like, it's really, really kind of an odd scenario because he's really great in some respects and kind of really like, you know, questionable in others. Um, I do kind of see what they're going with him and I will talk about that shortly. Um, now, Kalen Khalifla, I was super hyped about this banner. Um, now, Real talk, these two do not have their Dokkans yet. They are just going to go up to UR level. That's it. So what you see is what you get. Um, Kale is a physical type, key plus two, with a 70% lead. Now, Khalifla, she is a uh, she's a rainbow leader, but only a key plus two rainbow leader. Um, they don't even have Dokkans on the JP side. But my speculation, I think after the tournament of power ends in Super, we'll finally get their Dokkans. Um, it'll probably be about the, the six month, uh, six months from the the ban when the banner ended in um, on the JP side. So it'll be about time for them to bring it back. I think at that point they're going to get their Dokkans. So, yeah, Merry Christmas or whatever, whenever the hell we get it. Um, uh, I love the fact that it's a GSSR. I do like that a lot. But they're the SSRs here are just kind of okay. You got Kale, you got Khalifla, you got Hit, who I've had for a long time. He's just all right. Uh, this Piccolo, which uh, I'll be honest with you, I, I used mine to upgrade my LR Piccolo. Um, this Beerus is actually pretty good. I do enjoy running him, but he still doesn't do a crazy amount of damage. And this Whis, which is okay, but he just got a Dokkan Awakening, but you can't get his Dokkan right now. So it's like. You know, it's it's just kind of an okay banner. Um, that said, I'm gonna do a quick I'm gonna do a quick multi. I saved up stones. I wanted to do it. I'm really hyped. I want Kalen Khalifla. I I really okay. I don't recommend doing this with me. Now you guys know when I do multis, uh, and it's a really hot banner. I tell you, hey, do one with me, or it's tickets or whatever. I'm gonna recommend against this. Um, I just want them for the collectability, so I'm blowing my money hoping to get the collectible card. Um, I will probably only resort to singles after this, unless I can pull the 91s, we'll see. So again, unless you really, really want to, you don't need to do this along with me, and I don't necessarily recommend it. I only realize now that I stick my tongue out when I do that, too. That already doesn't look terribly promising. I don't really have my hopes up, because like I said, I haven't been... Haven't had very good, uh... Very good luck with these thus far. It, I know it's not going to be a dead multi, but it kind of looks like it at the moment. I mean, a lot of SRs, but... And what is this? Is this... That's not the one, is it? I think that's the one I have. That's... I'm... I'm... There's no way. Jack. And of course, we. Yeah, I could get Kale Khalifa. 
All right. Uh, I always get my hopes up when I see attack Gohan, but I'm pretty sure that's the one I already have. I don't remember which one is the uh, is the beautiful one. So let's see, where is Gohan? Where is Gohan? Yeah, that's the one I already have. That be he. Successor of the strongest. I'm gonna double check him. I don't think he's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's just kind of the regular one. Oh, thank you. No, not Discord. Thank you. God, it's Chrome is just having a poop. Let's try this again. Let's see if Chrome can not be a can not be an a-hole. I don't think this is the one. I'm pretty sure it is not. No, nah, it's it's not. Yeah. Damn. I always get my hopes up. But I was like, I didn't think he was on this banner. So yeah, that's just kind of the meh. But two SSRs. I can't be mad about that. That's three SSRs today. Um, I still do want Kalen Khalifa though. Um, and he's he's a key plus four. So yeah, that's. Another int that is going to be very, very good on a team. Uh, so, I'll take that. I will take that. So, he's a farmable super attack, too. So, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, so let's talk about the other summons, then. Oh, really? Really? It just, it rage quit my, uh... Absolutely rage quit my um, my pages. Anyway. Oh, you don't need to see that. My obsession. So, let's talk for a moment about the 120 leads that are coming to uh, cards. The 120 leads that are coming to um, the global shortly. Uh, let's see if we are in the JP side. Cards, absolutely perfect. All right. So there's four main ones you're really going to want to pay attention to. Um, let's see here. Obviously, him, he hits like a beast. Uh, 120 lead, super int. Uh, very good. But more than that, I would actually say this guy. Um, an extreme tech. So kind of a, a, a weird um, kind of a strange uh, a, a type honestly I don't extreme techs are kind of uh, it's it's not one that you would normally think of at least not me but he's a 120 lead he has a hundred and fifty percent attack boost on top of his passive as you can see here uh, well you can't see there but it's attack 12 percent up and defense 12% down for, um, uh, I believe that's for collecting orbs. Um, attack up 100% is like a percentage chance on top, on top of his 150% boost. And he has a farmable super attack. Now, he won't be coming anytime soon. He's going to follow uh, probably Janemba and uh, Gogeta if, if this follows suited how it did in JP. So he's probably one of the later ones that you're going to want to pay attention to. Now, another one here. And it's a tech type, but the super tech, which is, in my opinion, a stronger team, um, the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, the tech type. Uh, another key plus 3, 120% lead, um, another 150%, and as you can see his attack, 120% up. 150% um, boost to immediately to his attack on top of that. Um, and he gets attack plus 20% for every rainbow orb achieved. Ugh! 
attack 20%. I, you can nuke with rainbow orbs. That's like a dream come true. Um, on top of that, he has a farmable super. So it's like, it is. he is nothing but winning. I would say, and JP, he actually came um, uh, before Super Android 13, or 17. I do believe they're going to hold off on him a little bit. They, he might be next or shortly after that. Um, another one that's coming very, very soon is this guy. I keep holding down. Come on. Come on. Come on, you little thing. There we are. Uh, the Mass Saiyan or Timebreaker Bardock, however you want to call him. Um, I don't think he's... I don't think he's fooling anyone. It's Bardock. Um, key plus three and 50% rainbow lead. That's right. He can lead a rainbow team with a 50% boost and key plus three. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Um, I There's no excuse not to go after this guy when he comes. Uh, I would go deep on him because I can think of so many teams. Yes, you're not going to have the attack boosts that you would have otherwise with 120% leads, but... There are so many benefits to a rainbow team, it is not even funny. I would honestly use him to lead a full LR team. Now, that's kind of a weak team in a lot of respects. But, I do still see the benefit to it in certain scenarios. Uh, they have an insane attack boost. Um, there's just a lot of things that that team can do that that team can be specialized for, especially with the number of... Uh, uh, just strictly farmable and free-to-play uh, LRs that are in the game at the moment. All right. I would definitely go deep on him. Finally, and I do say finally, where is he? He should be up here. There he is. I'm retarded. Strength Janemba. If you have LR Broly, you want this guy. He will be uh, your leader until the end of time. Um, when he comes out, he's the one that I'm going to be going absolutely back to one on uh, I will probably go in as deep on him as I did on the Super Saiyan Force. God forbid I say that because I didn't get any Super Saiyan Force, and I still haven't. But he is going to be a phenomenal unit, uh, especially for me and the teams that I build for the, uh, for the World Tournament. He is probably the one I'm looking forward to more than anyone else at the moment. So pay close attention to him when he comes. He is going to be indispensable. I mean that with... I mean completely indispensable. An awesome, awesome unit. Uh, he's my number one pick right now. He's the one that I'm going to go absolutely batshit for. Um, Timebreaker Bardock probably being number two... Um, and then, of course, Angel Goku and Super Saiyan 3 Broly because they're farmable immense damage units. So, guys, that's what you're going to want to do going forward. Save your stones. Save your stones. Don't be a fool. Um, keep an eye out for these guys. Uh, that's kind of the current state of Dokkan. I hope to bring you guys more content tomorrow. Other than that, that's really it that I wanted to say today, guys. Um, Keep from your Goku Juniors for now and just play it cool. Other than that, guys, you can always hit me up on Booker, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, and like I said, come hit me up at the con if you're coming to the convention. Uh, other than that, I will lay your ass out next time.